So how do you go and actually rank high intent keywords for your SaaS product in Google search results? Now, I get this question a lot from especially younger SaaS companies that are trying to really start by targeting high intent terms, right? So you can imagine a SaaS product that at the highest level, what it does is it records phone calls, right? So a very high intent term for them would be somebody that's looking for call recording software or meeting recording software. And probably as you might've guessed, a lot of these terms are very, very, very competitive to actually go and rank for in Google's organic search results, right? So you'll see here, I've typed in call recording software um, and kind of scrolling down the list, like what you're typically going to see for a lot of these high intent keywords, right? You're going to see Captera, you're going to see G2, which are basically aggregators and, and product review sites um, specifically for SaaS and tech. But you're also going to typically see some of the larger competitors in your space, right? So when we think about call recording software, you know, companies like Gong come to mind or Ring Central, which are both here on page one. And yeah, actually going and beating those companies and trying to rank for those terms is going to require substantial effort, resources, time, budget to accomplish. So the question is, you know, is that feasible and possible in your particular space or not, first of all? And second of all, if not, what can you be doing to start getting right fit traffic to the website, especially for those medium to high intent keywords where somebody's actually looking for your solution, right? They're, they're already solution aware. So I think, you know, when I'm looking at this and kind of researching what's possible for a business, the first thing I'm doing is typically going to Ahrefs and understanding what some of those high intent keywords are. So for example, call recording software I've typed in here already. I'm scrolling down to the bottom to take a look at the SERPs. And again, I'm eyeballing this very high level just to get a rough understanding of how competitive it is for that term. And what I'm typically looking at is two different things. Number one, well, who's actually, what's ranking there? And again, typically Captera, Trust Radius, uh, Software Advice, or, or some of the first results that are basically stealing away some of those cert positions. But I'm also looking at, well, what are the other companies that are ranking in there that are actual products, that are actual businesses that have a SaaS product, right? And then I'm taking a look at, well, according to Ahrefs, what is their domain rating, right? So what is essentially their level of authority according to metrics, uh, according to Ahrefs uh, domain rating metric? So how authoritative are they um, based on this metric, AKA how many quality backlinks do they have to the website, right? So if I'm looking at this and again, I'm just eyeballing it and I'm seeing you know, 80, 90 range for DR that's showing here, I know that it's going to be very, very competitive and unlikely already for a young company, a young business that's maybe a couple years old to even come in here and compete without substantial budget going towards link generation in the form of, um, you know, the right type of content assets, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, getting even more granular with that if I need to, you know, I take a look and, and dig into these individual link profiles for these pages, right? So if I open up Gong, then I can, actually, I can actually go in here and start to filter through and see like, what are the individual links that they have pointing to this particular page of which, which are do follow. And this will start to give me a better idea. So then if I know, okay, we're going after call recording software, like we want to own this keyword, we know it's going to take time. We have the budget to do it. Well, what do we need to get there? What do we need to get there from a page, from a content perspective, and from a link perspective? How many links do we need to be building per month in order to catch up, right? And what type of links do we need to be building? This is what's going to show me and start to allow me to build out the scenario of, okay, well, here's what we need to do to get to our desired goal, right? And roughly how long it'll take and, and how much budget will be required. Um, I think the one thing that I'll say for again, younger companies that have started up recently and you know they're in a very competitive space when it comes to the organic results, you know, one thing to think about is, you know, if you can't own these queries and you don't have the budget to go after them, which a lot of companies don't, because it can get, you know, more expensive to do so, you know, there are different directions to go in. Um, there are different directions to still get right fit traffic and start to build content, for example, for your problem aware audience right? Where you start to think, okay, we, we have call recording software. Here are different use cases. Here are pains and problems for those use cases and desired outcomes. We know that, but getting more granular at 
you know, the sales conversation level, like what are the exact pains and problems and long tail queries that we can build around to educate and show people, well, here's the problem. Here's how you solve it. 99% of the answer. Here's how we solved it for X, Y, Z mini case study. Here's how we can help it solve it for you, right? That's the type of content that's typically going to be more, um, readily available to rank for and target because again, so many companies are doing keyword research in the SaaS space from you know 2002, they're using tools like SEM or, uh, or Ahrefs to build their strategy around content and keyword research where again, like the companies that are winning, they're doing that based on customer conversations, sales conversations, like that data comes internally and you know what those pains and problems are that your customers have. That's the type of content that you should be building, right? I think the other tip I have here is um, a lot of companies kind of skip over the importance of video. Um, and, you know, I've taken a, a look across a lot of the client accounts that I work with that leverage and use video. And if you actually take a look at search results that show a video snippet here, right, which for software high intent queries typically won't be the case. Sometimes, yes, that can change in the future. But what I'm talking about is if you go to the videos tab, you would be surprised how many users actually are searching for high intent terms on YouTube, like call recording software in YouTube itself, or that are running a query here and clicking the videos tab to find additional results in video format. And if you compare what I just said um, in terms of who is in the video search results tab compared to the, the traditional organic results, okay, you see trust radius, you see software advice, but we don't see Ring Central. We don't see Gong in the first few, right? Okay, Ring Central's at the bottom here, two minute video. So going and building video content can be a whole other channel where, you know, you use that video content then to transcribe it into um, parts and pieces for content or for the copy for the page, right? In some instances where, where some of that can be releveraged. You use that video across social channels, right? Maybe in paid ads, like you can use video across multiple sources and save a lot of time. Um, but I think the core takeaway here is, you know, again, like leveraging video, there's a whole other realm out there with the availability of, of searching going on in YouTube, but also the videos tab here as well can be less competitive than the traditional results. So yeah, food for thought there um, on ranking for those high intense software queries and uh, hope it helps and hope you enjoyed the video.